The movie Downsizing starring Matt Damon, Kristen Wiig and Hong Chow made its red carpet premiere Friday right here in Omaha at the Dundee Theater. And you actually had the chance to interview the director mm -hmm. and Omaha native Alexander Payne along with one of the film's actors right before the big debut. That's mm -hmm. exciting. Yeah. Let's take a look. Well, it's a big night here at Film Streams Dundee Theater where it's the premiere. Alexander Payne is premiering his new movie, Downsizing. You can see behind me press row where we're waiting for some of the stars and the co-stars, Alexander Payne, to come in. It's going to be a big night, not only for Alexander Payne, but for Film Streams as well. And congratulations on the nominations. When you signed on with this film with Alexander, did you imagine something like this could be in the cards? Omaha? No, I didn't know it could be in the cards ever. I actually, we shot, or they shot for a week in Omaha, but that was like the yeah. one week that my character wasn't involved in that storyline. So I've always said that I wanted to come to Omaha right. with Alexander. Right, but the nominations though, how exciting was, were the nominations? I know Omaha's got to be exciting, but the nominations. No, yeah. Omaha's up here, nominations are down here. <laughs> what did you think when you heard about the nominations? Um, I was just excited. I'm excited that the role is being recognized as a part of the film. Alexander Payne and Jim Taylor have written an incredible story and an incredible character. So I'm just, I'm just happy for any recognition the film gets. Well, you did a fantastic job, and the accent, you don't have the accent that you had in the movie. No, no. That's going, I, I mean, I have, I'm of Italian descent, and I haven't, I do my Nana's accent, like a spicy meatball, yeah. right? So, but I couldn't do something like that for a full film. Well, you know, a lot of us have come, we're a nation of immigrants, so a lot of us, whether you're Italian, American, German, or Swedish, or, you know, you have ancestry from Europe, it's sort of the same story where, not everyone came here with perfect English, yeah. you know, so it was a joy for me to be able to play a character that is so often in the background of a story and to get her, uh, to get to play somebody who's in the foreground was a tremendous honor. And you're more of a newcomer. I, th I mean, you've been doing it a while, but uh, compared to Matt Damon and Alexander, you're more of a newcomer than them. What was it like working with them? They made me feel so welcomed and comfortable. Uh, I met Matt on our very first day of shooting and we just had to hit the ground running. And sometimes when you meet somebody for the first time, it's a little, you know, herky-jerky, but not with him. We just immediately clicked and it was, I had the best time working with them. Well, thanks for talking with us and congratulations Thank on you. everything. Take care, have a good one. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about this, because I grew up in, in this area. I grew up in Dundee. So coming here uh, to this theater, when I was a little kid, Ah, those are the kind of weird movies, but as you kind of grow and develop your, your taste in film, this became one of my favorite places to watch a movie. And you grew up near here too, I'm sure it was a similar experience for you. As I used to do as a kid, I walked over here from my childhood home tonight. Yeah, right. That's why we have neighborhood movie theaters. Yeah. How did it turn out? Have you gotten a chance to tour it and walk through it? It's awesome. Have you been able to tour it? I have, yeah. I love it. It's. You know, on the one hand, you kind of fear, well, are they going to keep enough of the old flavor? Is it going to be, are they going to change it to where it's unrecognizable? On the contrary, not only is it recognizable, but it's an improvement mm -hmm. on what it was. And now with the bookstore, the cafe, the micro cinema, backstage, it's not just a movie theater anymore. It's, it's a culture, it's a place for cultural happening. Yeah, love it. They knocked it, it should be. They knocked it out of the park and it, it's important to keep the, the core of your city strong like this. So it's a very important aspect of the city. The movie Downsizing, I saw this, the screening last week. Um, where you, a lot of the attention is getting focused on Hong and, and uh, her performance. Were you, were you surprised as you were shooting it that she'd get that much attention? No. no. When we were shooting, I mean, the fact that she's getting so much attention means that the audience is seeing what we were seeing when shooting. Mm -hmm. You know, she, like there's one shot in the film where she delivers a, an important speech, where she says, I'm gonna go to yeah, Norway right. too. She does it, a long speech in one take. That was take one. Mm -hmm. That was one take. Yeah, blew us away. And uh, I'm glad that she, look, as a director, you know somebody like Matt Damon and Christoph Waltz and Kristen Wiig are gonna deliver the goods. Yeah, sure. They're tried and trusted old pros. But when you find a new actor for an idiosyncratic part, that's where, you know, that's where the sauce is. People really connected with that character, I think. Um, now, 
Um, you took the movie in a direction I wasn't really anticipating. I, I, I think you got some crazy in it. Can I say crazy? You, yeah, we can keep that on. Okay. But it didn't go in the direction that many viewers or, or moviegoers think it would go. I mean, how, how, God how, forbid you should have a surprising <laughs> and, un and unpredictable movie. Yeah. No, I mean, and, and and to be fair, your question. I mean, the studio has had a tiny bit of a challenge marketing it mm -hmm. because the movie fulfills the promise neither of a broad comedy nor a science fiction film. It goes in its own unique directions, which delights a lot of viewers, confounds some others, but you know, it's a movie. And finally, I, I posted a, a Facebook message asking people if they had questions, you know, put them on my post and I'll see if I can pass them along. I get all kinds of crazy things, King Fong, all this stuff. But the number of people requesting movie ideas, hey, pass this movie idea along to them. When you come back to Omaha, are you getting a lot of movie ideas from your old friends and family? You know what? You never know where a good idea is going to mm -hmm. come from. I, I don't have that kind of blanket, oh, don't call me, I'll call sure. you thing. Look, two of my more well-known films, Election and Sideways, were unpublished manuscripts mm -hmm. when they reached me. They found publication only after the movie was getting made. And you never know where, sure, you can spin a lot of wheels and waste a lot of time to find that needle in the haystack, yeah. but everyone's life experience is different and idiosyncratic, and everyone's got a story, and that's what makes life interesting. I love that perspective. Thanks for your time, and good luck you with the premiere here. There it is, and Alexander, he's really excited about this film. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but particularly the performance from Hong Chow. Yeah. And you heard him talk about that. She's up for, she's nominated for a Golden Globe. Uh -huh. She's nominated for a SAG Award as well. And like he said, he expects good performances from Matt Damon and Kristen mm -hmm. Wiig and Christoph Waltz, I who's a fantastic, a yes, brilliant actor. Fantastic. But he says he didn't know exactly what he was going to get from Hong, and uh -huh. then she just nailed it. She delivered. Well, I'm excited to see mm -hmm. it. Uh, as you know, I'm in yeah. SAG, so hopefully they'll send it That's to me right, so I right. can watch you should it. Get yes. it. Well, Downsizing <laughs> opens in theaters everywhere on Thursday. It's mm -hmm. a film you should probably go see. It's, yeah, it's great, great opportunity film. for you. I mean, yeah. I am, that's really cool. Yeah, no, it was, fun. There, it was fun yeah. talking to him. It was well, good congrats. catching up. 